I would like to now um, introduce the artist, and this is Colleen Goodwin Cronister, and she can tell you about the kinds of murals that she has at different places. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people don't recognize me. When I'm up on the wall, I'm in a painted shirt, and actually the mayor had come by several times while I was painting, and she says, Colleen, you smell good. I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. But it's true. Anyway, good evening, folks, and I'm glad you all came out tonight. Today, I'm going to be sharing the story a little bit about this mural. Um, I would especially like to thank a few people before I get started here who were instrumental in getting this proverbial ball rolling up on the wall. Uh, thank you, Jill Hagen and the Kaiser Art Association, Mayor Lori Christopher, and Rick Day, who did so much behind the scenes to keep this project viable. And of course, a giant thank you to my husband and to my son, back of you over there, who faithfully work beside me every day, putting this up on the wall. We had a couple deadlines. My middle son was getting married in October the middle of August and I was thinking to myself we need this up here before the rain starts and here I guess I didn't have to be in that big a hurry after all because we are still nice <laughs> never know though okay. in fact back then the powers that be and especially Jill Hagen decided that Kaiser's first mural should include Kaiser's very own agricultural biggies and that would be iris hops and the wine grapes and that they should be included in this design so, I scratched my head, pulled out a little sketch pad, and I mean little, like about three by five inches, and I started to scribble out a few shapes and a few ideas. And then I came down to visit this wall that had already been selected for the mural, and I made some mental notes about where the sign was and where some of the columns and the poles and the electric outlets were, and I thought to myself, Okay, the sun's going to set over here. I, I wanted to take that into consideration when I worked on the light for the paint. And I thought, we've got a dark wall, and I wanted something vibrant, something zingy, something color popping, and I wanted a three-part design. And that's new for me. I hadn't done one for a mural before. And I wanted it to feature, of course, the iris, the hops, and wine grapes. And next, I had to start thinking big, like really big, as in, what would a six-foot iris look like from way down here, okay? Or how about three-foot hops? Everybody knows, hops, little bitty guys. Up here, three-foot. Or how about a five-foot bunch of grapes? Okay, I had to think about this, and it was a lot of big imagining at this point. Remember, we're still at the idea of, what am I gonna do, okay? I also wanted to include in the mural the mountain, the river, Rolling fields of crops, bright sunny days, I love the sun. Rain, not my favorite guy, but the sun I like, and I wanted it incorporated in this design. So, you know, I wanted a sense of Kaiser, Oregon, which still is like that, that's pretty cool. And I wanted to unify all three of these sections by using a similar sky color and the horizon line. If you note, know, it, it picks up almost in the same place if you kind of follow the arch there. And so I had my design, three of them, and they were turning into something a little bit different. In fact, they were popping out of their literal frame borders. I mean, seriously, these flowers, the leaves, the vines, they were all growing outside the painted borders. And I was getting really excited. I thought, wow, this is going to be really cool. The design was now ready for the wall, ready to become a mural. And the wall said yes. So, with a little help from Rick to do a couple little repairs and a bunch of gray paint that Jill was able to get for us. From who? Miller Paints. Miller Paints. We put in a dark charcoal gray background color and we used it for the basis of the other colors that we put in here. So, with that, we drew in a giant grid. It was 40 feet long, which is the length of the wall, and 16 feet high. And I, when I say a grid, I mean, really, it was a grid, one foot squares in white all the way across. 
Next, I drew that design onto the grid and I used up several white pencils. Picked up, I think, three or four, ended up using six or seven. Used, and, and I used them really well. I'm a real good user, down to about the size of my thumbnail before I had to replace them. Anyway, a lot of drawing went into it. And finally, the neat part, the paint. I used an acrylic mural paint, and it's called Nova. It's specially formulated to withstand the sun, the rain, the dirt, and the dust. The colors are really bright, and they're true, and they mix well together. And I used to use brushes to apply this paint. Not, uh, I don't airbrush it. It's all done with brushwork. And I used several layers to build up the color. The last part, of course, are the details, and that completes the mural. From the primer to the signature, the mural took us all, my husband, my son, and myself, 21 days to complete. And we were up on the wall between 6 and 6.30 every morning because that was the best time of the day. The uh, sun wasn't directly on the wall. It's easier to see when you're painting if the sun isn't directly on the wall. And we only had one day of rain, and it did bleed a little bit, went up there and repaired, had lots of paper towels. And with the three of us, we were all on our ladders fixing it, and that was the only day we had a boo-boo. And we, we got it all fixed and repainted, of course, and it's, it's all back to where it's supposed to be. And then came thinking about a title. I had in mind a few ideas, and I thought, well, these, these agriculture commodities are so cool, I wanted it to sound a little different. So I came up with Valley Treasures. What do you think? Okay, that's its title, and that's what we're going to call it, is Valley Treasures. And again, I thank you all for coming here tonight and for being part of this dedication celebration of the Valley Treasures mural. Thank you.